Hey everyone, it's Mr. G. And a couple of years ago, I released a video called Play a Random Sound. And in that video, I showed you how to click on a sprite and play a random sound whenever the sprite was clicked. The issue with that, as Josh Roblox pointed out in the comments yesterday, is that you might click multiple times and hear the same sound played. And the reason for that is because we don't have any check to prevent that. We don't, we don't use any conditionals to prevent the same sound from being clicked. And that's because I'm using random numbers. And I'm using the random number generator in the operator's palette to do that. So what we have to do is pick a random number and keep picking a random number if we get the same value twice or three times in a row, whatever it is. So I think we're going to use a variable to store the last number or the last sound that was played. The reason I keep saying number is because if we look over at the sounds tab, we can see that there are five sounds and you can play a sound by its number. So there's five numbers here. If you haven't seen the previous video, I recommend checking it out. It's only about three minutes long. So that'll explain how you can use numbers to play sounds. So I'm going to start off by checking or saving the random number that we just picked. Um, and that is going to be the current sound. So I'm going to create a new variable and name this the current sound number. And I think that's, that's a good variable name because it is storing a number and it's the current sound that we are going to uh, use. So let's set the current sound number to a random number between one and five. And what we'll do is we'll play that sound. Okay. So, so far we haven't fixed the problem. We still have the same issue, but now we're using variables to keep track of this current sound. So what I want to do is I want to check before I play the sound, I want to check if, let me show you. I want to check if the current sound is equal to the previous sound. So maybe what I want to do, and we'll, we'll connect it in just a second in the right place. Maybe what I want to do is after I play a sound, I want to create another variable and store that as the previous sound. So I'm going to make a variable and let's call this the previous sound number or the last sound number. And once I'm done playing the sound, I can initialize that variable to equal the current sound number. Okay, so what this means is that once we play the sound, we're gonna store the current sound, we're gonna store that in our, oops, I didn't fix it. I need to make sure that this is the previous sound. So we're gonna store the current sound number in the previous sound number variable. Okay, after we play the sound. So we just have to, we have to make sure that we only play the sound if the current sound number does not equal the previous sound number. So pay attention to what I just said. We have to make sure that the current sound number doesn't equal the previous sound number. Okay, so let's go over to our operators and see which ones we can use to implement that. So we have to make sure that current sound does not equal uh, Let's, let me use, let me do this. So the current sound number doesn't equal the previous sound number. So this actually is not the code for that because I keep saying doesn't equal, but this says equal. So in order for me to check that it doesn't equal, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but we're going to use the not operator basically to enable what I just said. So I want to make sure that current sound number doesn't equal previous sound number. So I'm just flipping the case by using not. So this is a little bit tricky, but what this now says is that I want to make sure that the current sound number does not equal the previous sound number. So I'm going to put that in my if statement. And if that's true, if the current sound and the previous sound are not equal, then I want to play the sound, right? Else, it, it, otherwise, otherwise that means that the current sound equals the previous sound and we want to keep picking a number. So otherwise we want to actually, 
try to guess a new number. So I'm just going to throw, I'm not going to connect anything here because I'm th already thinking of a better way to do this, but we really want to pick another number and just keep picking another number until we find a number that doesn't equal the previous sound number. So listen carefully to what I just said. If you heard me carefully, I said, I want to keep picking a random number that already sounds like a loop. So I want to keep picking a random number until I get one that doesn't equal the previous sound number. So actually there is a block for that. In the control palette, there is a repeat until block. So what this will do is this will keep repeating the guessing of a new number until the new number or the current sound number doesn't equal the previous sound number. So now this is getting a little bit messy, uh, but while that is true, so sorry, while, you know, while it's guessing or while we still have a current sound number equal the previous sound number, we want to just keep guessing. So really what we want to do is keep setting the current sound number to another random number. All right, let me get rid of uh, all the things I don't need. Okay, let me uh, move over move that over. And then once that's true, then I can play the sound. Okay. So actually this, I think this should work, even though it's a little bit tricky to read. So what this is saying is first, we want to pick a, a current sound number. We want to create or guess a new number. Okay. And when we click on the sprite, it's going to set a random number between one and five equal to the current sound number. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the current sound number equals the previous sound number. And if that's the case, if that's the case, then we're going to keep guessing this repeat until we'll keep doing this set block or keep uh, executing the set block to keep picking ran random numbers until current sound number does not equal, oops, does not equal the previous sound number. So we're going to keep guessing until that's true. And once that happens, then we go on to play the sound. So we're going to play this new sound. And what I'll then do is I'll set the previous sound to the current sound number. So with this method, we should never have the same sound two times in a row or m many times in a row. We're, al we're always going to have a different uh, sound. Um, and we can do that. We can test this out by clicking play a random sound. And you can see that that was the current sound number was two. And now the previous sound number is two. So when I click play a random sound, it should play something different. And then the previous number should be now be set to that number. Okay. So two, four, two, four, five, two, three, four, three. And so you'll see that I can keep testing it, but they will, you will never see the same number twice. Let me try to think of, um, there is a way we could, we could make sure that that's not hap that, you know, this is the case. We could add a, um, a say block because if we do get a match, we can say, oops, uh, current equals previous. Um, but we don't want to say it for two seconds. We just want to say it for maybe like 0.5 seconds. So what we can do is we can actually see when there is a match and we can see that, you know, it'll pause for 0.5 seconds for half of a second before it keeps guessing another number. And if we get a, if we get another match, it'll say it again for another 0.5 seconds. So I'm going to click on the, let me click the green flag. Actually, it doesn't even matter if I click the green flag because this code only runs when I click on the sprite. So let me keep clicking the sprite until there's a match and you'll see what happens when there's a match. All right. So that was not a match, not a match, not a match. There we go. We had a match. So it took a bunch of times because there's only a 20% chance that we'll guess the same number, but I can just keep testing this out. Oops. There was another one. There was another match and you'll notice that it didn't play the same sound twice. So it, it kept trying to guess. 
And if I keep doing this forever, there will be times where it says oops current equals previous multiple times, but it won't play, it won't play the same sound more than once. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I know this is a little tricky to read because we're using the repeat until block, um, but this is one way to solve or prevent that from happening. All right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.